So I set up a charity called the Roma Education Support Trust, we call it REST for short. Um, basically, we take teachers from the Czech Republic and Slovakia who genuinely believe that because you're Roma, you will have a low IQ and cannot be educated. We bring them to Babington. For two days, they go to lessons with our Roma children. They then have to look me in the eye at the end of two days and say those Roma children had a lower IQ than the children from all the other countries. Of course, they cannot do it. So then we talk about how Babington manages to do that. And as an aside, um, we're very proud of Babington at the moment. Our first former Eastern European Roma child started at Queen Mary's College London studying law last September. And we have had Roma children now leaving with the EBAC, for those of you who don't understand the UK education system. That is the gold standard. Um, so we bring these children, uh, these teachers there. Now, when you go back to school, you're right, it's not directly transferable. They haven't got the building we got, they haven't got the training they got, they haven't got the history that they got. But I'll give you an example. Babington, we track every child. We don't give them a report at the end of the year that says one, two, three, four, five, which basically reflects how well you do compared to other children. We give them a report in common with most UK schools that says this is what your child can do now, this is what they have to do to reach the same, uh, a higher level. So they wanted to transfer this to the Czech school, but the software that we used to do that didn't work on their computer. So they got an Excel spreadsheet and did something that did the same job. But as at Babington, we can just say, this is what happens. You get a report like that. They had to get every single parent of the school in the Czech Republic to agree that they wanted to receive a report that wasn't one, two, three, four, five, but did this job. Um, so that's an example of how you transfer practice in a way that works in the context. And there perhaps could be some support to create tools yeah. that, are, that do work in any context. Uh, I go along and I work in my half terms in the school to give them advice on how they're going. It's, it's not telling them what to do, but it's being the critical friend. Okay. Thank you. Uh, can I just give a... Very briefly, very because quickly. we need to draw conclusions and it's lunchtime. But I wanted... <laughs> right, I was invited to do the... the um, keynote speech at a conference at the end of a one-year project in the Czech Republic. This project would cost one million euros. The idea was to send 1,000 teachers from Czech schools to schools in Finland and England and look at inclusion in practice. So I started by saying, put your hand up if you went to England. So half the room put their hands up. Put your hands up if you went to Finland. Half the rooms put their hand up. Now put your hand up if you went back to your school and you changed something as a result of that visit. Two hands. One million euros, okay. two changes. We spend 8,000 euros a year. Okay.